The Academy is heavy with honors tonight, and to honor a most unusual veteran of the most unusual aspect of filmmaking, here is a former Oscar winner, the president of the Screen Actors Guild, who's made Andrew Jackson, El Cid, Moses, and Michelangelo all look like Charlton Heston. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Half a century ago, a 22-year-old cowboy with both brains and guts stepped in front of a movie camera for the first time. One of the first things he learned was that uh, movies should move, and he's spent his life ever since making sure they do. Before movies could even talk, he'd already performed some incredible stunts that have since become legendary. And by the time he'd made his reputation as the greatest stuntman of all time, he'd devised special safety devices and stunt techniques that are still used by the men who make up the profession to which he gave so much. But that's only half the story of the remarkable man we're honoring tonight. When he stopped doing the stunts himself, he became what the film world acknowledges as the most talented director of action sequences ever to put motion on the screen. Take any half dozen of his credits, Boomtown, Ben-Hur, Stagecoach, El Cid, Gone with the Wind, Khartoum, and you'll see some of the reasons why the board of directors is honoring him tonight with this special award. I'm very proud to present it to him, and I'm proud to tell you what he'd never say himself. He deserves it. His name? is Yakima Kanat. Thank you. And I want to thank the uh, Academy. Uh, not so much, not so much uh, for what I have enjoyed doing my, all these years myself and hope to continue doing. But in the name of all those stuntmen and women who kept defying busted bones, bashed in heads to make pictures more real and reality more picturesque. They're a great gang and I'm honored you chose me to honor them. Now what do you think we saddle up and get some action? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.